Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk about things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. In this video, we're going to talk about how you moving through the stuff that has happened in your past and finding more self-acceptance, self-love, how that can help you manifest your desires. A lot of people don't think it connects, but it actually does. It's a huge piece of your manifesting journey. And a lot of my clients come to me saying, why aren't my manifestations coming true? I don't understand, Michelle. I'm doing the journaling. I'm doing the vision boards and nothing is happening. I feel stuck. And I sit there and witness them saying this to me. And all I see is a little bit of a lack of self-acceptance and self-love and forgiveness and compassion. So it's almost like they have this inner voice that's constantly judging and critiquing their journey which also means that they have an inner voice constantly judging and critiquing themselves. And then we have to hit rewind and go way back to their past and figure out where did that voice come from? Why are they so mean to themselves? Why do they need their desires to happen right now? What are they trying to escape? Because normally when we're looking to pull in a desire, we're trying to run from something from our past. But when desires come to us, that's when we're in the present moment and we're good and we feel grateful. We're like, everything is great. Like I'm okay if my manifestation comes or doesn't come because I'm so happy where I'm at right now. But most people are not content in their own lives and they're constantly yearning for more because they don't want what happened in the past to repeat itself. Or they're trying to escape the present moment because it doesn't feel good. So I'm here to share with you how that past can kind of muck up the future and the present moment. So right now I want to ask you all, I want you to think of any person, place, or thing, or situation from your past that you think about that draws up any kind of like, ugh, annoyance, hatred, anger, frustration. Think about somebody that's hurt you. What does your body feel? Do you feel anything? Do you feel free? If you're thinking, oh, that person, they don't bother me anymore. You know, they're an asshole. They did this. If you're saying the A word, you have something inside of you that you're holding on to. So a response, an ideal response that I would want, um, not me personally, but that I would want any client or any human being to have when I ask them about a person from their past that hurt them, I would want them to say, yeah, I, re- I went through a tough experience with that person but they taught me so much and I'm so grateful for them. You know, we didn't work out, but I wish them well. That's the perfect response when you know you've healed your past with a person, place, or thing. And another thing I want to share with you is when you can go anywhere in life, you can go to a state that you lived in where maybe something bad happened to you. You can go to a store where you saw a traumatic event, or you can Um, be around certain people that caused you pain in your past. When you can go to all of these different environments and not be rocked and sending them love and gratitude and feeling good in those spaces, that's when you know you've healed. And when you've healed, you're clear. You're like this open vessel that the universe can just dump all of your desires into. But when you're stacked up with all this pain and frustration and anger, the universe can't drop anything into your 3D reality because you're holding on to the past and we have to help you let that go. So that is how healing affects your manifesting. And if you're sitting here watching these videos and you're searching YouTube for how to manifest more and how to get out of the situation that you're uncomfortable with, I'm calling you to put eyes on that situation and say, how can I see it differently? What is this teaching me? How can I release it? How can I find gratitude for that person that hurt me? Because maybe it taught me that I'm not going to do that same behavior to somebody else and how I can thank them. And when you thank them, you free yourself. If you don't thank them and you're calling them names still, and you're still repeating the story, talking to other people, and you're like, oh, this person drives me nuts. I'm over it, but they still drive me nuts. You're not over it because you're still talking about it. So no more talking about your past, find gratitude for it, move on. We are only focused on the present moment and how good we feel and what an open vessel we are. And we're thanking the universe for what we have right now and how far we've come. And we're saying, yeah, I'd be so grateful if I could also have this too, but I'm okay if it doesn't arrive. 
But I also know that it's done and it's mine because I am a magical manifester. And when you can clear your vessel from everything from your past and feel good about every situation and knowing that in the future, you can be put in any environment and be okay. That's when you've mastered manifesting. That's when you fully have evolved, um, whatever you want to call it. You can call it being enlightened. I just think it's being joyful. It's enjoying your experience and there's no level. Nobody's above you or below you. You are just in the present moment, feeling good, enjoying your surroundings and just really savoring this experience. That's the key to manifesting. Abraham Hicks says it all the time, feeling good now. Do you feel good right now? If you don't, figure out why and clear it. All right, lovies, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video on healing. Healing is an incredible piece of our journey. We can heal the past. We can call in more in our future. I also wanted to share that I just shared a very, very intimate healing experience that I had on Friday night. It was so profound. It took me back to a third grade scenario where I was in the shower with bruises all over my body. And I share in that story how that shifted me in my adult self, what that trauma was that I went through and how I used it to help me, how it shaped me in my twenties and in my thirties, I'm 39 now. And now I see how that situation helped me. It was traumatic. It was painful. I was in third grade. I was young. I didn't know what to do. And now I can see that little girl that was hurting and I can nurture her and I can comfort her and I can release the pain and find gratitude for it and nurture that little girl. So then I can move forward to call in more desires without that little voice inside of me who's scared or fearful. So some of my desires were not happening because I was fearing them. And then I had to dive into what's the fear. The fear was, oh, I had this trauma that happened to me as a kid. How can I clear that? Now I feel free. So I shared that on my Patreon. And if you feel called, go join my Patreon. It's only $11 and 11 cents, 11, 11. And you get an intimate look at my life and my personal healing experiences. And hearing my stories might help you become a magical manifester because you're getting rid of the stuff that's been blocking you. And I do not want any of you blocked. I want you feeling free and amazing and happy in your life. So go over to my Patreon, watch my story, and I hope it inspires you because it lifted me up to share it with all of you. And I totally like bared my soul. (laughs) So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a fabulous day. Peace out.